Well, hi, I'm Jonathan Bill, owner of SBS Accounting and Advisors, and thank you for joining us today. At SBS, we are not just focused on capturing the past, but in delivering powerful insights that help you make better decisions about the future of your business. We do this through state-of-the-art bookkeeping, accounting, and advisory services that help you grow as an organization. We are all going through a difficult time, but as leaders, we must move forward and grow. Today, I'm catching up with one of our clients, Roy Smith, with R.A. Smith Asphalt Paving Contractors, who has graciously taken time out of the schedule to talk with us. Roy, thank you for joining us. Glad to be here, John. Yes, sir. Well, it's good, it's good to talk with you today and, and catch up. But why don't we start by having you tell us a little bit about yourself, your organization, and the solutions that you bring to your clients? Well, um, my name is Roy Smith. I'm um, the owner of R.A. Smith Paving Contractors. I've been operating at a capacity for over uh, 35, going on 36 years now. And we are a small um, service company that provides uh, asphalt uh, paving, maintenance, and new construction to primarily commercial clientele. Uh, we are married to uh, my wife of 40 years. Uh, we just celebrated our 40th anniversary. Her name is Latricia. We are the uh, parents of uh, uh, six children, four boys and two girls, and have two little uh, grandbabies now, two little granddaughters. And um, uh, what we bring to the uh, uh, customer is a uh, state-of-the-art uh, quality, low, uh, I would say a, uh, a, a courteous and, and honest service. We provide them uh, with uh, full uh, maintenance and repairs of their uh, parking, uh, asphalt, and concrete uh, parking surfaces. Well, that's awesome. That's awesome. <clears throat> well, as you know, we've gone through some unprecedented times over the last four to five months. Uh, would you mind sharing how COVID-19 has impacted you personally as well as your organization? Uh, certainly. Uh, well, you know, obviously we um, uh, were struggling, you know, before uh, the COVID hit. I mean, we weren't really just, say, knocking it out of the park. Uh, we were uh, having some challenges uh, with uh, just being in business, you know, right now. Um, I uh, have, uh, you know, some going on situations with some you know, tax liabilities and uh, other things that we were dealing with, trying to get caught up on our um, invoices, our accounts payables, and we were just struggling right along. And then when the COVID hit, it just kind of really just kind of uh, highlighted, you know, our challenges even, you know, that much more. But um, we just kind of kept pushing through it, plugging through it, and uh, some of the customers that we were dealing with uh, apparently were, you know, they weren't impacted. So they, you know, kind of backed off on making some uh, purchasing decisions. And uh, some of the larger companies that were doing work uh, that are in a similar area that we are, they uh, seemingly, they were just more, you know, focusing on their bigger projects. But when anything like this happens, it just, you know, sort of trickles on down. So you know, some of the work that we were getting that some of the bigger companies were overlooking. Uh, now that has become a little more scarce. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know it's, it uh, seems like uh, we've, we've all been impacted in some way or another. And, uh, and so uh, it's, it's amazing kind of the trickle down effect, you know, of, of everything. And, and so uh, our hearts go out to you guys and, and all that you've been through. Um, Roy, we love working with you um, and helping you improve your organization and meet your goals. Um, can you describe the challenges you had when you first came to SBS and how we were able to help you? Well, um, Jonathan, when, when uh, you guys first came, uh, we were just, I was really kind of um, just kind of overwhelmed with everything that I had going on as far as administratively. Uh, we did not have um, anyone, you know, in the office at that time that was um, uh, 
consistently um, and in a professional way uh, managing the uh, administrative task, you know, the bookkeeping, opening the mail and posting invoices and uh, bills and, you know, keeping track of those items. Uh, so it was a pretty much, a, you know, it was, uh, you know, for being, for lack of a term, it was just pretty much uh, chaotic here in our office. We had, you know, letters and uh, bills that we, you know, hadn't opened. Uh, and, uh, you know, we were just out here trying to keep the doors open with work and trying to get work. And, um, and you know, it just, it, it was really, you know, tough. So when you guys came in, that um, that was uh, made clear what our current situation was. And you guys came in with, uh, with a game plan and basically a breath of fresh air and, and, you know, like almost like, hey, let's bring the cavalry in and help these guys get back, you know, get their feet up on them um, and it, uh, enable our people that we, you know, were considering, you know, doing some of the work. Uh, you know, I have a lady that's kind of work, uh, you know, part time. Uh, it kind of gave her uh, a boost as well, you know, for her to have someone that knew uh, what was uh, uh, necessary in order to really get things uh, on track. And uh, so things are a whole lot better in that regard. Now we just need to, you know, continue on and get some work and manage it properly. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, at SBS, our team is focused on placing our clients' needs first and foremost. Um, what has it been like uh, working together? Well, it's been like uh, having um, uh, a team member, you know, um, that's, you know, watching, you know, I mean, I can, I can see the front, they can see, you know, look at, you know, got, you look at the back and plus, you know, with you guys having the knowledge of, of some of the, um, uh, well, pretty much most of all of the, the uh, requirements and regulations, what, what I need to do in order just to be, uh, you know, in compliance with some of the, um, uh, agencies, the RAS and, and, and all the local and state uh, agencies that, um, uh, you know, by having that base covered by you guys has lifted uh, a whole lot of weight and stress off of my shoulders. Not that it's, it's you know, it's, it is completely off, but it's like, you know, now I feel like I don't have to really be overly concerned about those particular areas. As as opposed to you know hey getting letters in the mail and you know not really knowing how to uh, you know really address it, uh, but having someone like you guys have been really uh, you know it's been it's been very very helpful, extremely yeah. helpful. Well, that that's our passion and our desire is to free our clients and to uh, help them to be able to focus on what they do best while we do what we do best, and so we we love to hear those kinds of stories and, and our clients' journeys uh, along with the challenges and the triumph. And uh, so can you maybe take us through one of those moments and, and how we were able to help? Well, we were um, in the process of trying to negotiate a uh, installment agreement with uh, the um, internal revenue because we had gotten back behind on some, some back taxes and we were really um, just you know, at, at a loss and what we need to do in order to get all the um, documentation that they needed in order uh, and presented it to them. And we had also an outside company that we had, uh, we were working with that specialized in, in uh, negotiation of, of uh, taxes and, and all, uh, you know, that, uh, uh, that was, you know, working with us as well. Uh, but they were requesting information uh, that I needed to provide them in order for them to bring it to um, to the IRS and present a, a, a complete uh, package that, that would uh, uh, satisfy their uh, their desires to to you know work out an arrangement. What what you guys did was you know came in and help us uh, organize all the um, things that we needed to provide them. You know the documentation. The book, you know, make sure that the, the uh, 
uh, the the bank statements and and the uh, tax information that we were getting were all you know reconciled and everything basically was in order and and presented in a way to where uh, they could uh, uh, interpret it properly and and really evaluate and determine whether or not they could work out uh, a uh, payment arrangement arrangement for us and if so what that amount was and and that was uh, very very uh, helpful uh, to us because that was that was a real real heavy um, uh, you know challenge for us at that particular time because you know I was like you know man I'm out here working and trying to keep things going but you know it, you know to have um, the IRS or you know come in and just uh, shut you down with all you know with all your efforts because you're not, you know, we were not in compliance. That was a real heavy stress on us, man. And, and, and to get that off, um, at least to the point to where it's manageable, we're uh, working with them uh, and, um, uh, and you know, we, we were staying in compliance. That really helped out a whole lot. That's, that's one of many uh, incidents, but that one was huge. Yes, sir. Well, thank you for sharing that. And uh, we're just so happy to be able to serve you uh, as our client and to uh, help you uh, focus on your business and be able to grow your business and be able to kind of minimize distraction and, and uh, be able to be free and, and empowered you know, to move forward. And so um, thank you for sharing that, Roy. We, we, um, we appreciate you as a client and we, we feel it's important to stay connected during these days uh, you know, with all that's going on. And uh, so uh, we, we pray that you stay safe, you and your wife and your children and grandchildren. And we want to thank you for the trust and faith you placed in us. Yes, appreciate it. Appreciate you all. Yes, well. Sir. well, you have a blessed day. Thank you. You have a better one. Thank you much, John. Yeah.